Today I will be talking about lymphoma. There are two types of lymphoma, Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's. I will be focusing on non-Hodgkin's today. Lymphoma is a cancer. And what is cancer? Cancer is the constant dividing of cells because they cannot perform apoptosis, which is the regular death of a cell that is no longer usable. Since these cells continue dividing, they create tumors, which can cause many other problems. This cancer is specific, the the lymphatic system. It starts in the lymph nodes, which are all over your body, such as armpits, neck, and groin. The causes for this cancer, as for most cancers, are still being researched, and they have not yet found a direct cause. In the U.S., in 2015, approximately 71,900 people were diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and approximately 19,800 found it fatal in 2013. The risk of developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in the U.S. in 2015 is 1 in 50. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is the sixth leading cancer in the U.S. If you are the age of 60 or older and have already had chemotherapy or radiation therapy for cancer, you are at a higher risk of developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Also, people living in developed countries are at higher risks, and some chemicals used in agriculture increase your risk as well. Some viral and bacterial infections will increase your risk as well. Also, if you have an autoimmune disease, the human immunodeficiency virus, if you're on drugs because you have an organ transplant, or if your immune system has been weakened by inherited disease, you have an increased risk of developing non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Since lymphoma is a type of cancer, it affects apoptosis, meaning Cells have lost the restraint on growth. Cells continuously grow as said in the beginning, causing tumors which can compromise the normal functions of organs or systems depending on where the tumor develops, showing the tumor develop in the armpit. If you're experiencing abdominal pain or swelling or trouble breathing or coughing or chest pain, you may be diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but these are some normal things that may happen on a day-to-day basis, so you need to make sure you aren't also experiencing fatigue, fevers, night sweats, or weight loss. If you're experiencing over 65% of these symptoms, you want to see your doctor. A for sure doctor visit would be if you had many of these symptoms just listed, but including a painless swollen lymph node in your neck, armpit, or groin. There are a few ways you can be diagnosed for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Imaging testing is one. X-rays, CT scans, and PET scans are all used to diagnose lymphoma. Also, you may have a small surgery to remove a swollen lymph node so it can be tested for cancerous cells. Where do you go for your treatment? I go to the Jurovinsky Cancer Center on Concession Street in Hamilton. And what kind of therapy are you going through? It's called CHOPR, which is five chemicals that you take via infusion in the chemo suite. And what is the treatment process? Uh, I go and you see the doctor uh, one day and he checks you out and then you go the next day and you have the infusion. And that takes about three hours. Oh, what's the frequency of the treatment? Oh, and that happens uh, every three weeks for six treatments. And following that? Uh, following that is a maintenance treatment with only with one of the uh, chemicals, the colobertuxin, and that takes for uh, two years every three months. And then there'll be a scan at the end to see how I am. And how are you? I am fine. Thank you very much. For prognosis, you will have a more favorable prognosis if you're diagnosed before the age of 60. 
if you were in an earlier or lower stage, if the cancer stayed within the lymph nodes and did not spread out throughout your body, if you are in a good performance status, which means active and healthy, also if the tumor is smaller size, if you have normal, and if you have normal hemoglobin levels, your prognosis will be less favorable if your factors are opposing to the ones just listed. The more favorable prognosis is approximately 10 years, and the less favorable prognosis is approximately 5 years. I have two directly personal lymphoma cases, Tom Sutton who I interviewed earlier in the video and is doing very well, and my cat D'Artagnan who did not survive this lymphoma case and passed at the age of 6 just this past month. Lymphoma affects many lives and I hope it really does not affect yours because it is absolutely devastating.